Hello. It's time for another big question. Ready? Here it is. When do we use subtraction? We use math every day. We often count when we buy and sell things. We use addition to count. When we add things, we join them together. We can also use subtraction to count. What do you know about subtraction? When we subtract things, we take them away from other things. Look at these apples. I have eight apples, but when I take three apples away, how many are left? There are five apples left. We usually write subtraction math problems for single digit numbers like this. Eight minus three equals five. Eight is a single digit number. This is the minus sign. It tells us to subtract three from eight. And this is the answer, five. We usually write subtraction problems for double digit numbers in a column. Look at this problem, for example. 50 minus 20 equals 30. 50 and 20 are both double digit numbers. And the answer is 30. We use subtraction all the time, and sometimes we don't know it. When we count backward, we're subtracting each time. We can count backward by ones, but also by fives, subtracting five each time. Just look at this line. You can even count backwards by 10. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Counting backwards by tens is very fast. We use subtraction every day. I use subtraction when I play games. Your teachers use subtraction for your test score. I want a new baseball card for my collection. My friend has the one I want, but I need to give him two cards in return. I have to let them go to get what I want. Now I have one less card, but I really like my new card. Subtraction helps us solve problems. Now I have a subtraction problem for you. Yesterday I bought six cookies, but my brother ate two. How many cookies were left?